Hey, so I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus for a couple of days now, and I think it's definitely the most interesting phone of the S24 series. While keeping the same price, it had the biggest spec upgrades with more RAM, slightly bigger and a much higher resolution screen, and a bigger battery. But the most interesting part is that outside of the US, the S24 and the S24 Plus both come with Samsung Exynos chipsets instead of Qualcomm Snapdragon. A lot of people were worried about this in terms of general performance and battery life, so we're going to put that to the test today. I'm taking this phone out for the whole day, using it like how I would normally do, and see how it actually performs. By the way, all the b-roll and footage not labeled as a Galaxy S24 Plus was shot using the Xiaomi 14. I'm going to be doing a comparison video between these two phones, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that comparison and much more videos about the Galaxy S24 Plus. Okay, we have a doctor appointment right now, so let's get going. Okay, we're all done with the doctor appointment. We're gonna go get lunch now, maybe some cheap pasta. We're all done with our meal. Tiffany's gonna go home, she's not feeling too well, but I'm gonna head over to a cafe and uh, work from home from over there. Okay, it's my first time using Samsung Pay for public transport. Yeah, I never got to do it since I never had a Samsung phone, so I'm super excited to try it out. So we're going to this cafe uh, near Moran Market. So Moran Market is this traditional market street that sells all kinds of traditional Korean things and it's famous for a lot of uh, exotic meats a long time ago. Now it's just a lot of things you can't find in like the regular supermarkets today. Uh, so a lot of people go here for grocery shopping and also for um, some late night eats too. So there's a lot of things to do here. Okay, I'm all done for the work day. I'm gonna go get some dinner. Somewhere around this Moran area, there's actually a lot of food places around here. And outside of the traditional Moran market, there's a whole street of like late night eats. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Gonna look around and see what to get.
This is actually my first time using 5G all the time and it seems to have been connected all day. So we should definitely keep this in mind when considering the battery results from today. All right, all done with dinner. Uh, gonna head over to E-Mart because I have an errand to run. And then I'm gonna head home. All right, I'm all done with work and all my errands. I'm pretty tired, time to head home. Okay, now I'm home, gonna relax and probably watch some TV and play with my phone a bit before heading off to bed. So the day is now over and I'm ready to go to bed. We have about 6% left for the battery and here are the full results. Almost 5 hours of screen on time which is actually not bad considering that 5G was on the whole day. I use the camera a ton and it's only learned about 3 days of my usage patterns. It also stayed cool the entire time and never got warm. So this phone can charge up to 45 watts, which isn't that impressive considering the Xiaomi 14's 90 watts and OnePlus phones getting up to 120 watts. But we're going to start charging and see how long it takes to get a full charge before I head to bed. Alright, so it's all done charging. So it took just about an hour and 20 minutes to go from 5 to 100%. Definitely not super fast, but not bad either considering the big battery size. Okay, so that's going to do it for this real world test using the Galaxy S24 Plus. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the battery camera results that you've been seeing throughout this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos about the Galaxy S24 Plus and other tech videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video.